Hello, collective. Welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, okay? I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energy and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light. Anything the enemy has stolen from you is being returned to you as we speak. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled, being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Okay, let's see. All right, so we have a star energy out here. Someone could be getting their wish to come true. Okay, so what I'm seeing is that you are coming out of the cold. You're this star energy collective or whoever this message resonates with. First of all, I want to say I've been trying to do my messages with a little bit of empathy to it. But I've realized when I try to add empathy, there's some type of battle that's going on between my subconscious mind and my conscious mind. So it's kind of complicating my messages. So I'm just going to do my messages as I see them. Um, and forget about adding the compassion and empathy and stuff to it. I am usually very direct with what I have to say. And I, for some reason, I've been trying to be mindful of how I say stuff. But I just feel like I, it's better just to be direct with it and give the message. I don't have any ill intentions or anything like that. So I'm not going to be trying to like mince my words or whatever to not uh, kind of, I don't know, make people feel uncomfortable. If it makes you feel uncomfortable, go watch someone else. Um, and then another thing, I had a vision of someone that's been doing some type of animal sacrifices. You may want to stop doing those. You, you use like sacrifice animals to send destructive uh, energy to other people. I saw you, you like gutted an animal and took the intestines and threw it against the wall. And like there was blood everywhere. The intestines were like smearing down. Oh, it was a gruesome sight. I don't know how people do stuff like that, but I literally saw you threw it against the wall. I don't know if you were trying to send me energy, but honey, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> you may want to leave those animals alone. I don't know if you got at your own pet, you got desperate, um, couldn't find an animal to do this with, so you use your own pet or something. Please stop doing that. It's not going to turn out in any way, shape, or form in your benefit. Again, this is me, honey. I was just... I know a lot of people claim to be this, but they haven't done the work to be this. But I can guarantee you, anyone you go to to do a read on me, I'm going to show up in this energy and then some, okay? So I think I'm seeing you because you're gutting animals and trying to send me some type of energy. It's not going to work. <laughs> so sorry to tell you that. Anyways, so collective, star C, whoever you are, whoever this message resonates with. Um, you're about to be going through some type of transition in life. It's not a death transition. You are just ending one chapter and stepping into another one. You're about to be in some type of relationship, some type of um, union where it's going to lead to you and this person building some type of empire or something like that, okay? Um, you're kind of stepping into your abundance, so there will be some type of transition, um, I think a lot of you are expecting these transitions. You are aware that there is some type of change that's coming, so it's not really surprising. There could be something going on with your job as well. Just do not... Uh, uh, like, when you are going through this period, this is not the time to lose hope. This is not the time to turn away from God. Because the moment you turn away from source and you stop believing in believing in source this is when you start blocking your blessings and you start losing your protection and things like that because you're not trusting the universe to come through for you okay but you are going to be going through some type of transition that is going to lead to some type of solid and fulfilling life for you this is part of your divine contract so do not like lose faith do not lose hope uh, you're not the only one going through this. This is part of our soul journey. We have to go through these lessons to learn and to ascend. So some of you could be experiencing some type of loss in 
uh, career, business, finance, and things like that, but it's not going to be something that's long-term. This is just for the universe to separate you from entities and companies People that you don't need to be around anymore. People that don't serve you good. Um, these are people that you had some type of karmic cycle or contract with that you needed to fulfill. You fulfill your part in that contract. Whether the other party or parties fulfill their part of that contract is irrelevant to you as long as you did your part. And it seems that you did, collective. So this is the universe putting an end to something to a tox toxic and karmic cycle so you can start a new one. Someone is burdened about this because they know, I think someone knows what they're about to do and they know that you know as well what they are about to do to you uh, and it's burdening them. But um, as I said, right, this is the cycle of life. This is a cycle of the journey, right? Things have to come to an end so new things can begin, right? That's the whole purpose of the karmic wheel. It's always moving around. And as it moves around, it's bringing balance into situations. Excuse me, whether good or bad, right? So whatever energy you've been putting out is balancing that out, bringing it back to you. If you've been putting abundant energy out there, that's what's being brought back to you. If you've been putting negative energy, that's what's being brought back to you. Regardless if this wheel shows up in the upright or the reverse, it's the same thing. Balance is being brought into the situation. This could be what's coming up for you, a divine union. And this, I keep hearing long overdue. This union is possibly long overdue, but that's in our that's from our human perspective. We think everything has a time, but we know on a cosmic level, the universal level, there is no time. Time is time is irrelevant. So this is in divine timing, right? Um, so you two will be coming together. You two are going through some type of ending, the masculine and the feminine. Whatever the nature of your relationships are, whether it's same sex or heterosexual, whatever it is, each person is going through an ending, but it's very much divinely orchestrated so that you two can come together and manifest a new reality together. Because whatever reality you two are meant to manifest is not going to be manifested on an individual level. You have to come together in order for this reality to be manifested. And you two will balance this out. Um, what, Why did I say balance this out? <laughs> Maybe something is being burnt into balance by you two coming together. I literally didn't think about that. It, like it just came out. Okay, yeah, you two are manifesting this real this uh, 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 this union. This is a gift from the Most High. So your partner is a gift to you from the Most High, and you are a, are are a gift to your partner from the Most High. You two come from completely different backgrounds but you resonate on the same frequency. So you, uh, um, you're a match made basically, okay? This could be your soul twin, twin flame, you two incarnated at the same time, you two, not, you two separated from source at the same time, if I may say, yeah. You're familiar with one another. This is a past life union, a past life connection. You two have a very strong connection that goes way, way back as some people like to say. <laughs> I had an ex that used to say that all the time. I'm like, oh, when did that happen? Way, way back. I don't know what the heck is way, way back. But it's a certain generation that uses that term. And it's always so historical to me. Is that what the heck is way, way back? Yeah, absolutely. You two will have victory because this is something that's being given to the both of you from the most high and the most high is trusting the two of you to nurture this new beginning together to build an empire together right and you're going to do this strategically using logic and everything everything's going to plan be planned out this six of six of one as well is letting me know that you two are overcoming a lot of setbacks a lot of uh foes that people going up against you trying to block you two from coming together i'm also hearing that people went through extensive lengths to block this union from coming together this ten of cups from coming together but it will be coming together okay so that's absolutely beautiful i'm trying to listen i'm trying to get that image of that animals intestines on the walls oh I'm the spirit. Do I really need to see that? that yes, this person is doing this. I'm like, mm, oh, why? Poor little animal. Poor little creature. Like, why are you doing that to their, to their creature? 
Thank you. Yes, absolutely. What I was saying is someone knows you know what they're trying to do, what they're intending to do. Um, someone is also living in fear at their job, like they're going to lose their job, right? So this is not you. This is not the boss that's planning on letting you go. This is another person at their job um, that's afraid of being let go as well. You may be living in fear of losing a source of income and spirit wants you to know that you are protected, right? Yeah, this is why this is here. They want you to know that you are protected. You have nothing to worry about. Um, you know, in our from our human perspective, we have a limited perspective. We have a limited mindset. We cannot see the future. Uh, even the high priestess, with everything that they know and having the ability to see into the future, the past, and the present, they are still limited in some way, which is why sometimes when people say high priestesses are all-knowing, I'm like, no, they're not all-knowing. They're wise-knowing. Like, they know quite a lot, but they don't know everything, right? If they knew everything, then they probably wouldn't be needing to incarnate. Their, their process of their existence would be completed, right? But with the fact that they're still incarnating means that there's something they need to know. They're not quite yet uh, pure energy, okay? So Spirit wants you to know that you are protected, right? You're secure. You don't have anything to worry about. If someone is trying to take some type of malicious action against you, you are just A-okay. They're going to take care of you as long as you stick to the plan, stick to the path, right? Uh, your divine counterpart, whoever you're supposed to be partnering up with, um, they know of you as well. And they're, I think someone is wondering, does she know who I am? Does she know of me? Yes, you know of this masculine. You know. Yeah, you know who he is. And he knows who you are. You both see each other as wish fulfillment. Maybe you all have been meeting in the spirit realm, right? Having uh, like fun time together. Maybe traveling the different realms together, right? Things like that. So you two are aware of each other on a spiritual level. Some of you may even know these masculines and these feminines um, in the physical, but you just maybe haven't had any type of intimate re uh, relationship with them and things like that. So this is going to be very beautiful when it comes into uh, um, com comes into being. There are people going through endings behind the scenes. So your divine masculine too could be going through some type of ending, just like I said, and it's, it is changed. For the both of you, this is not something where it's just like, oh, you know, like he just blase blase, like he just jumped from one thing to the other. Like someone is being remolded, okay, because they're coming out of one way of thinking, possibly one way of like, uh, uh, what is it, religion, like some study of some way of living. I don't know how to put it, excuse me. Some, oh, what is it? Someone is coming from some type of really interesting background and it has to do with the things that they practice, right? And he's leaving all of that behind to become a higher version of himself. Like he's he's going through a transformation basically, okay? But you are protected, um, Star Seeds Collectives. If you're the feminine energy that are, that you're that's worried about something, you are protected. Everything is gonna be okay. This masculine is gonna be okay as well. Okay, he's gonna be a okay. Yeah, you're gonna be a okay. You have victory. That's what I'm saying. Like you're living in your truth. You're taking charge of life. This is what spirit is, spirit is advising you to do as well. Is to take charge of your life. You may have kind of let go of your power for a little bit there or something like that. Um, but they're advising you to take charge of your life. Make those decisions that you need to make and take action. Don't just plan something and then let it fall down. Make the plan and take action. Move forward. Go for what it is you are being told to go for. Whatever you are wanting to do, take hold of it and execute that plan. Okay, so take charge of your life. You're ensured to have victory because the universe supports you, right? There's a reason why your star shines brighter than all the other stars in the sky. And that is because you've done the work to get to where you are genuinely, okay? That's the part that people don't usually consider, the genuine aspect of that. Like, you did it genuinely without having to cross anyone, 
take from anyone, hinder anyone, harm anyone. You didn't have to do any of that. So the universe supports you for all of that, okay? And there's a high priestess in here that knows the truth as well about a greedy character. You know what? I'm going to fix that. This is you. You're this high priestess and you know. You know the truth about what someone has been doing behind the scenes. You know an institution is extremely greedy. They're trying to exploit you in some type of way, shape, or form. This is a whole family. This institution, they consider themselves to be a family, okay? And they are very much greedy. There's nothing genuine. Like, this, these are people who are friends with you if they need to be. If they don't need to be, you're kind of irrelevant to them. They don't care who you are, what you have going on. But the moment they need something from you, that's when they know your name. They know how many children you have. They know everything about you. Now they can have conversations with you, smile in your face until they get exactly what they need, need from you. And then you become a non-factor again. Okay, so these are people that gas like each other. They may need to make some type of amendment with you that they're going to have to compromise with you because these people are losing quite a lot behind the scenes. They're going from a 10 of cups here to the knight of cups. That's a pretty drastic fall. This means that these people are going through some type of ending. There could be a business that's going through an ending. They're living in fear because there's some type of divine intervention that's taking place because of actions this business took against you, this family took against you. These were people that were practicing some form of, I don't know, magic for a long time. And it's been, I guess, working in their favor, but I don't think they realized that really what they were doing is just accumulating karma for all of these decades, hundreds of years, whatever it is, centuries. Now you come about and they do the same thing to you that they've done to everybody else, right? So you are the feather that broke the camel's back. These people are going through losses from the Ten of Pentacles to the Knight of, I mean, the Ten of Cups to the Knight of Cups. That's a drastic fall. That is a drastic fall. You will have a hard time coming back up from that. And these people know that, okay? The friendships are coming to an end. People may be passing away or someone may be passing away within this family. The business is not looking too solid anymore. They're barely holding on to their assets and things like that. There's something going on within an institution and it's just not looking good for them. And in order for things to be balanced out, they're going to have to do the right thing and fix something that they broke. If they cannot fix it or are not willing to fix it, not trying to fix it, this cycle of loss is going to keep happening to them. And it's going to be happening in different ways, right? Deaths, uh, unemployment, sicknesses, all kinds of stuff. Like this institution is going through a rough time. They're going through a rough time. This is like the institutions that are supposed to be there to assist the communities, help people, you know, but these are people that become greedy and they'll shut their door to the public while pretending that they're still in, still there for the benefit of the, purpose, of the public. Like they're still there fulfilling their purpose and things like that, but they're not behind closed doors. They have a whole nother mission and operation going on that has to do with them keeping everything in their pocket. Hence the nine of cups out here is a lot of greediness that's going on behind closed doors, okay? And then as you can see again, they're going from a nine of cups to a knight of cups. This institution is not happy. They're not having any type of success right now. People are not happy in this institution. People are maybe, yeah, wanting to leave this institution. Something is not going well. And this is not just one institution. This is something that's going on on a global level. All of these dark institutions that have been stealing from people in whatever way, whether it's energy, finances, home, stability, relationships and things like that they're all going through some type of ending and in order for them to bring some type of balance into their situations they're going to have to compromise with the energies that they've been stealing from okay with the high priestess out here and the ace of swords these people know that you know exactly what's going on and why it's taking place and you know as well what they need to do to restore balance in their institutions, their organizations, whatever you want to call it, right? They have to take action to fix something. Yeah, they have to take actions. They have to speak the truth. They have to do the right thing. 
this could be you that someone wants to come towards and you have your sword pulled out and it's like yeah i'm listening but if you said the wrong thing i'm shutting you out and i'm on my way but just know that your enemies are being taken care of behind the scenes maybe some of you feel like people kind of just got over got in and over you they got one over you and they were just able to move on with their lives no they were not people are going through endings changes and things of that nature so just be in the lookout for that yeah they're absolutely going through endings someone may be passing away and it's shocking to some of these people because they didn't expect this to be happening whoever is passing away as well people may not know the full spectrum of the things that they were involved in someone's business is absolutely going out of operations there's a business that's coming to an end someone could be losing a job position something like that it's a whole lot going on it's a whole lot a whole lot going on and a whole lot of going on and while they are going through all of these endings, you are stepping into new life, manifesting a new reality, possibly with your new partner soon. Yeah, so this is balance being brought into this situation. Someone could be a narcissist, maybe like the leader of an institution, whether, whether it's a cult or something, whether they are re heavily religious with fixed mindsets. There's a leader in here that's extremely power hungry and i've been getting this for a while this person may have even shown up in my last reading but someone is very much power hungry they're stuck to doing things the old traditional way but you know as time change you have to change with the times you cannot stay in a specific mindset doing the same thing over and over and over and over right what the, the method of doing something the method of how you did something in the 1920s it's not going to work in 2024, obviously, okay? That's a whole lot of gaps within that time frame, those two time frames from 1920 to 2024. That's a long gap. You have to grow and adapt, right? Acclimate to the times, improve yourself. But some people, because they refuse to actually put in the work to learn and heal and improve they would try to keep things the same way no matter how it's affecting people around them and businesses cannot prosper that way this is why a lot of businesses from that from that have been around i don't know for a like hundred years 50 years they don't understand why they're dying off it's because you're not growing with the time you're not changing some of these people have workers that have been there for 40 years 50 years and they have a fixed mindset um and they don't understand why Companies that started maybe two years ago are more are, um, fruitful than they are. That's because you're not changing anything. You're holding yourself back. You're holding the company back. If you want your company to be around for another 50 years, 60 years, whatever it is, 100 years, you're going to have to change the way you do things. You cannot prosper with an old mindset. A, you cannot you can't prize pri uh, excuse me you cannot progress in stagnation with a stagnant mindset that there, there's no progress in that okay you have to change yeah you absolutely have to change you have to change and someone here people may even be telling them whether it's a woman or a man that we need to change how we do things there's someone there's a leader who people have been advising for a long time, he said, hey, we need to change how we're doing things. This method of doing things is not working anymore, okay? Some of you could have gone into companies where you were there to bring change and newness and bring hope, but someone was very power hungry. They felt intimidated by you and things like that. They maybe thought you were there to take over their companies and things like that, whereas you were really just there to bring hope into their country, newness and freshness uh, into their environment so that the environment could thrive and you will be on your way this is what star seeds do they come into communities environments and people's lives to bring growth right to nurture people and then they move on to the next mission right the next community even like the places you all live you are there to bring growth and healing and things like that this is part of the reason why you are giving these positive energies and things like that so that you can disperse it to people of course in a safe manner right 
but people that are not awakened, people that are not aware, they don't have any type of self-awareness or awareness of the universe, they will see you and be intimidated by you thinking that you're there to take from them, to steal from them, to overpower them. And I can guarantee you, anyone that's genuinely in this energy, the last thing they really want to do is even have power on in anything. They don't care about power. Most of these people, they're more concerned about, you know, being healed, helping people be happy, healed, and things like that. So when you go to talk to them, the conversation you're having with them is going to be completely different from what you're having with other people. But it will never be that they want to take over a company, that they want to, you know, uh, 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 overpower the CEO, the CFO, the COO, vice president, president. They don't care about any of that stuff. They just know I'm here to help these people. Sometimes they don't even know that they are there to help people, but you'll just see them and they have a very positive disposition about themselves. They bring joy into people's lives and things like that. You'll notice that, but people take that the wrong way. It's that, oh, uh, this person, I have to keep my eye on this person. You know you don't. This person is not worried about you. You're worried about that person. I'm telling you, you're the one that's worried about that person. You're watching their every move to see what they're doing. Sometimes they'll even get desperate and start copying what you're doing so they can appear to be you. That doesn't work. To be in this energy, you actually have to do the work to you. This is not something you can just sell off and people just say, oh, well, you know, you were karmic yesterday, but you're here today, so we're going to follow you. That's not how it works. That is not how that works. You actually have. Yeah, you have to put in the work. You have to get out into the world and experience things. You have to learn, right? Whether it's traditional learning or self-education, you have to learn in order to be in this energy because by learning, you experience and by experiencing, you grow. It's all about growth at the end of the day, okay? And that's what makes you a good leader with this emperor showing out here. That's, yeah, growth. That's what makes you a good leader when you're willing to grow and heal, ascend, and help other people not so not be so power hungry and greedy. Yeah, this... <laughs> This was wanting to come out in the reverse. It was sideways. We're going to put it out here. But there is a queen of pentacles that may be going through some type of ending. Absolutely ending. This could be the person that's power hungry or something like that. I will be mindful. There could be another. Uh -huh, I was going to say another queen of pentacles in here. But there could be another queen of pentacles in here as well. Someone may be wanting to come in and give you some type of offer. I will be mindful. Anytime I see the knight of cups. Um giving an offer to someone it usually perk my little antennas it's a mm, if you were like a king of cups then i may take that offer seriously but you're showing up in the knight of cups energy which means that you're not really solid exactly not really solid um but spirit wants you to know queen of pentacles whoever you are that's in the upright not the one going through an ending right your victory is absolutely ensured yes you focus on your path your enemies are being put to shame, right? Something is done. Someone may have been dragging something out longer than it needed to be dragged out. This is because of ego. But just know that, you know, you're going to have victory over your enemies. Every last one of them. Some of these people may even have to sit back and watch you elevate. And this is, yeah, they're going to have to sit back and watch you elevate. This is what they are afraid of because you're going to have your victory. Whoever it is, queen of pentacles is that's going through some type of ending this was always destined to be someone is a bit of a narcissist but they don't want to see themselves that way right um someone is like i said obsessed with power so this could be a feminine energy that's obsessed with power and she's going through some type of ending trying to stay in the trying to like hide what she's going through but someone is living in fear remorse like someone is feeling very remorseful because they're realizing the time for them to turn back and fix something is long gone. They've gone too far across the border to be able to turn back. This is that you're trying to cross. Let's say, I'm just going to use this as an example, okay? Let's say we have someone trying to cross the U.S. border to come here, right? Um, and they've gotten so far to the border and they realize, oh, shoot, there are, you know, guards up there. 
right? By the time you see those guards, you already know you're a little bit too far into your journey to be able to turn back. Now you have to find somewhere to hide. So a sis is out here hiding, not wanting to be seen because she's going through some type of ending. The very thing someone was trying to manifest for you is what they're going through. So someone could be being dethroned in their community or something like that, or they're just going through some type of ending as well, okay? And they're living in a lot of fear. Someone thought if they kept messing with you, they kept blocking you and things like that, that you will eventually give up and, you know, they wouldn't have anything or anyone to worry about. But that's not so. You're standing your ground. Someone, someone is disappointed because you're standing your ground. You're being seen as someone of high moral character. You are defending yourself. Someone didn't expect you to defend yourself or to have defense. Something like that. Whatever it is. And this is leading to some type of loss for her. I don't want to say that this woman is passing away, but she could be in her mind dealing with a lot of mental illness. This could be someone's wife, someone's mother, just doing a little bit too much. Yeah. Like you're not hiding. You're, you've come out of hermit. You're saying, here I is. Here I am. Bring it on. Right? So you're not hiding anymore. You're not hiding anymore. Like you're out with it. You say, you know what? You people have been coming for me for umpteen years months weeks whatever it is i don't have time to be hiding anymore i've learned all the lessons i need to learn i've done all the introspection that i need to do i don't need to introspect anymore i'm out here okay i am out here someone was supposed to seek counsel but they didn't do that someone thinks they know a little bit more than they do it's that oh she's irrelevant he's irrelevant we got this and it's no you should have went in south console you didn't you weren't seeing clearly you're being told that you were not seeing things clearly someone thought it had another energy all blocked in it's like this could be this person that i've been hearing saying don't help her don't help him this could be this person and they're about to be going through some type of ending okay why would you say not for someone not to be assisted like what in the world? Oh, is it because you're trying to steal something? You're causing a lot of illusions. You're trying to steal from someone what belongs to them. Oh, the nerve of you. The nerve of you. You know the universe is always watching us. Everything we do is being recorded and sent back to source. Yeah, I'm telling you. And they told people not to help you, not to assist you. They may have even told like a lawyer not to work with you. Just too much going on behind the scenes right and you're still healing and still moving on you're still going to have wish fulfillment but you're not heartbroken this is what people wanted you to be it's heartbroken dude just you know just roughed up let's say if you are like in a queen energy the empress energy someone wanted to take you out of that energy if you're a star seed they wanted to take you out of that energy and have you living in some type of deplorable energy where you are living in anxiety, fear, second guessing yourself, low self esteem, begging people on the streets and stuff, it's not happening. If you are in this energy genuinely, you never have anything to worry about. The universe is always aligning things for you. All you have to do is ask, pray about it, talk to the universe about it, and everything will work out in your favor. Okay? But so someone is heartbroken because you are not heartbroken. You're not disappointed. You're not out here mourning. You're not out here angry, weeping, anything, okay? You didn't, they didn't get the response from you that they thought they were going to get. Someone does not understand how you're so calm in the midst of a storm and things like that. And they'll never understand because these types of people, they're not whole within. So all they are is a picture to look at. But within that, it's like a, a, a 3D picture, right? The picture is beautiful on the outside, well-decorated, well-painted, whatever you want to call it. But when you look within that picture, it's shallow. There's nothing in there. It's, I mean, hollow. You say hello in there. Your voice is echoing back to you. Hello. Hello. You know, it's something like that. That's this kind of person. So they don't understand why it is that you're calm. You know, I'm saying it. I'm saying it. Why it is that you are calm doing your hardships or whatever you're going through. They don't understand. It's like, if this was me. I will be losing my mind. I will be crying. That's because this is not you. You haven't done the work to be that. That's why you, you don't understand why empresses, starseeds don't lose their 
bunkers just because you tried to trap them, have them stuck in something. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. So if someone is so angry. Someone is like in some type of mindset is that I have to block this person or they're going to overpower me. They're going to replace me. Lord, someone is a lot. She's a lot. I don't want to be in your mind, but you are too much, too much, too much. Someone does underhanded things behind the scenes to make sure things go in their favor. Okay, to make sure things go in their favor and they're going to have to walk away. A sister, did, you saw how I was trying to pick this up and it, you know what? I am going to do it this way. I'm going to do it that way because I was trying to pick it up and put it upright and then it went backwards. So it is meant to be backwards. Someone is not able to heal. She's losing quite a lot. The eight of cups in the upright has to do with someone going on a journey to heal, to achieve emotional balance, spirituality, things like that, right? Fulfillment in life. This woman is refusing to move on. So she's not only unfulfilled in life, she's losing a lot of finances as well, right? What does the Eight of Cups say? Whatever these, these people put, put on here, material pleasures, okay? Defense status quo, peripatetic, wandering around, regret, a weary traveler. I'm telling you, someone is not happy. They're not happy. They've blocked themselves. They're not healing. They're in competition with themselves. They've caused a lot of losses for themselves and the people they've got to partner up with them. It's a whole lot going on. And this is something that should have been over a long time ago, but someone is a narcissist. They have too much going on. They have too much going on. This is like your leader, either at your job, whether this is a coven, a coat, you all have some type of agreement, uh huh, some type of understanding. You all meet every Tuesday at the at the long table to make plans on how the coven or the crew, the, the coat is going to move forward um, to achieve their new goals and things like that. And you all come up with all of these plans, but as soon as you leave that table, Madame here has her own motive, has her own plans, and she goes behind everybody and does her own thing. And what she's doing is not something anyone wants to be a part of. It's not something anyone knows um, about. So the repercussions of her actions are affecting everyone else, and they don't know why they're being affected. They don't know why things are going wrong, why they're losing finances, why they're getting sick. You know why they're passing away and things like that. That's because of what this leader is doing behind the scenes and she's not telling people. So they're going to have to ask her questions. Like, hey, what, what the heck is going on? What in the heck is going on? Okay? That's because Madame is stealing behind the scenes. She's undercutting people. Even the people she's collaborating with, she may be stealing from them and they don't know it. I'm telling you, it's a tower. It's a tower. Madame is going through a lot, losing finances and stuff. It's a tower. Someone's going to have to learn how to manage. She's going to have to learn to manage what she has. Someone has depleted their finances, trying to block another energy or trying to steal from another energy or trying to hold on to power. Someone has gotten really greedy, really greedy, mentally unstable, unhealed, imbalanced. And it's all because of greed. That's all it is. Someone's trying to hold, hold on to a old paradigm that's just never coming back. It exists in some time realm, right? It exists in some type of dimension, but that's never coming in here, in this present or the future. Now, you can go back to that dimension when you're astral projecting and things like that, but not when you're wide awake. That's just gone. And you have to learn how to heal and move on with the times. Okay, I remember this company. <laughs> I was working for this company. Uh, what was it? It's been what? It's been I worked for them for like I think 17 months or something like that. This was a huge company, and when I started with this company, I thought because they were so huge, like they were up to date with the process of how things were done. Now, when I started with this company, I didn't know a lot about this job I was sticking on. 
but I was willing to learn the job and, you know, improve because I'm someone that's always open-minded and open to learning new things, which I told the woman that when I was interviewing and mind you, I didn't even know I was talking to the vice president of the company when I went to interview, but I was direct with her. I said, you know, I don't know a lot. I don't know everything about this position, but what I am is open-minded and easy learner, multitasker, which I am. And she gave me the position, right? But because I saw that they were a large company, I assumed that they were up to date on the processes of things like machine, technology, things like that. When I tell you these people were, were behind, like, oh my lord, they were behind. They were using a freaking payroll system that no one else was using. No one else was using. Like, literally... This system was so outdated, they only had one per one person to call if something happened. And this company had like multiple, like several different locations. So if they needed assistance, they only had one person they could call to assist them. And I'm like, why is this company this behind with time, with technology? And then I realized it's because they're stuck in a paradigm they have a system that works for them and they decided to stick to their system not the lower employees the upper management and this is how lower employees suffer in companies because the upper management don't want to progress with time they say you know what we have this system maybe we don't have to pay too much for it go into the next system we're going to have to pay no you have to work smart not work dumb like it's it's about efficiency a lot of the times not because you want to feel comfortable. You got to progress with time. You got to. You cannot. You can't be doing stuff from the 1940s in 2024, 2026. It's, it, it does not match. This is like you considering yourself to be a fashionista, a design fashion designer, the latest fashion designers, and you come out here looking like a hippie. Like I'm not, Nobody's coming to take any fashion advice from you. Are you serious? Get it together. But this is how the companies will suffer because you have leaders like these that are not willing to learn and heal and be part of a team, you know, help their team progress. All they know is that I'm the leader, I'm the manager, I'm the supervisor, I'm the president, the vice president, the CEO, I'm the CFO, and we're going to do things the way I want it done, blah, 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 blah. And the whole time, the employees in their companies are suffering, but they can't fix their mouths to tell the leader, hey, you are hurting us. You are holding us behind. We don't want to do this anymore. We love working for this company because some of us have been here for 50 years. We've seen this company grow into something immaculate. But what you're doing is holding us behind. These employees can do that. They're afraid of losing their jobs. And then you start seeing you come about and you're a uh, sunshine, bright eyed, bushy tail, giving suggestions and things like that. Uh uh, honey. Uh uh. Someone like that, they will see you as a threat. They will see you as a threat. Do not. They will see you as a threat. That's why these kind of people, they need to go, go to like, um, what, are they, uh, what do they call those things? Oh, what is this? You know, those meetings that they take business leaders to so they can learn new skills or kind of get updated on the processes of doing things, operations and things like that. I forgot what it's called. It's like literally on my tongue and the words are in my eyes, but I can't get it off. I can't get it out. Seminar. Thank you. <laughs> Seminar. Retraining, reprogramming, okay, re education. Is it, honey? Yeah, in the 1940s, you were at the top of your games, but in 2024, 2026, 2030, you are not. You're slacking. We need you to catch up. I'm telling you, newness, adapt a newer mentality, be open minded. Being fixed minded does not lead to any type of progress. Even in 2024, you should always be willing to learn something new. I don't care how uh, as, how much of an expert sees you consider yourself to be. Be open to learning something new, improving yourself. Someone like this does not want to. They think they know everything. 
These are the kind, kind of people, as soon as you try to suggest something to them, they think you are trying to tell them what to do. You're trying to overpower them. But that's not what it is. You're trying to help this person. They're not going to see it as help. You know what they say about uh, kings? You never tell a king what to do. Don't suggest anything to a king because they feel like you are challenging them. And this is how, how a lot of monarchs were back in the days. Like if you hear, uh, uh, what is it, Henry VIII? Now he, now he wasn't always a brute, but when he got older, that man, they say he was unbearable to be around. One, because he had that injury, he was always in pain. So you couldn't really go and tell Henry, hey, Henry, we don't think you should, you should uh, execute this person. Don't execute your wife. Henry would probably say, you know what? She gets executed and you get executed as well. So people just let Henry do what Henry wanted to. That's like questioning, questioning the lore of the land. But this is why people have problems. Subjects have problems. Communities have problems because of leaders like that. And sometimes in corporation, the only reason people like this are allowed to be that way is because people live in fear of saying something. Can you imagine you have a good paying job, but your boss is crazy and you like your job, but again, your boss is crazy. You got to go to work every day and deal with a crazy boss. Okay. Unbearable, but the finances, the pay, the benefits, immaculate. Mwah. But honey, your boss is intolerable, intolerable. And she walks around or he walks around pretending like everything is just perfect. Yes, perfect. We are, you know, we are a unit. We do everything together. Meanwhile, it's chaos. But there's a company going through an ending. Someone could be losing a job. And if they don't fix something that they destroy, it's only going to get worse. It's going to get worse. And because this person refused to move on, they're going to have to learn how to manage. She's going to have to learn how to manage. Whereas you're coming into some type of abundance, new life, ten of pentacles possibly, someone is going to have to learn how to manage because she's refusing to, to, uh, to grow, to mature up. Someone is refusing to mature. Yeah, she's going through an ending. This chapter is done. This is done. I, can, I heard something about someone has been trying to cause you an ending, block you so that you cannot step in your rightful position. Something like that. Like someone's time is up. Someone's time is up. A privileged lady, someone of high honor, whatever this is, this is not really someone of high honor. This is someone that pretends to be of high honor. But whatever this is with her is done. This chapter is over. And you, you are coming in. I don't know if you're coming into power or coming into abundance, getting into some type of relationship um, while she's going through her ending. I'm telling you, this woman is crazy. This is a crazy cycle. And I guarantee you, the people around this person will tell you, she's a nutcase. He's a nutcase. My goodness. Someone has been paying a hefty amount behind the scenes. I'm telling you, to cause an ending. You could have a queen of wands behind the scenes that thought that she would be chosen for something and she's not being chosen. Okay, what is this? Hmm. Yeah. She's not being chosen. There's something where like people are trying really hard to keep two people apart. It's like a masculine knows who he's supposed to be with, but people, either his family members, his friends have been working to intervene in this relationship to make sure it does not come together. Something like that is going on here. Like they're trying to tell him, oh no, that's not the right choice. You have it wrong. Like they're all on the same page. They're all collaborating behind the scenes to tell this masculine that you are the wrong choice. That he has a reason to fear you or something like that. But this person knows the truth. They know they don't have anything to fear. Yeah, he knows. 
he knows you don't he doesn't have anything to fear so he is going to give you this offer something as well that's in the court system is going to go in you all's favor something maybe exposed in the court system and it's going to lead to some type of abundance like you're like you're a uh, uh, um whoever you're going whoever you're going up against or is going up against you is going to have to pay you something for some of you okay but someone, but someone sees you all as like someone that's solid and worth investing in and building with, and they are going to do that regardless of all the intervention people intervening people have been doing around him or her or behind the scenes. It's still going to happen. Again, it's a divine union. It's a divine union. Is that someone is trying to steal some type of new beginning? They don't want you to have support, but you have support from the right energies. Someone is not happy at all, at all, at all, at all. This is one of the situations where one person's actions is affecting an entire group. And they don't know why things are going haywire in their lives. And Madame here is just sitting there all calm and peaceful. Looking like she's not even paying the drama any mind. That she has nothing to do with it. Oh, I'm focused on my pentacles. I'm focused on the business. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, she's the one doing a whole lot of mess behind the scenes. Whole mess. Mm-hmm. And they're not happy, but who cares? Someone's not happy you're receiving this offer. Someone's not happy that balance is being brought into an offer, in, into a situation. You could be getting an offer because that word keeps coming out a lot. Balance is being brought into a situation. You're still receiving some type of ten, of ten of Pentacles situation. Someone is not happy about it. You're throwing a fit. This is not someone wise. This is not someone you go to for advice. Okay, this is not someone you go to for advice. They may have taken the wrong advice and now they're unhappy about the results. They're unhappy about the results. What What do you want us to tell you? What can you tell this kind of person? Yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> Dang. Dang. Mm. Someone does not want you receiving commitment. I'm telling you, they don't see this coming. You probably don't even see this coming yourself. Whatever this is, it's going to be unlikely. Something big is coming for you and you don't even know it. And it's not something bad. It's an offer of commitment. Some type of balance being brought into a situation. Judgment has been called and it is final. Whether Queen of Pentacles over there likes it or not, that's on her. And you're showing up as the star and you're and standing your like you're showing up in a lot of different energies yourself. Whole lot of different energies. As you should. Mm, okay. Yeah. Mm, this woman is not doing well. I'm telling you, folks. A sister is not doing well. <clears throat> <clears throat> She's not doing well. Someone's like inner demons are coming out in the worst way possible. Someone's inner demons are coming out. Like coming out. This is when they start passing out on you for no reason. You don't even understand what's going on. You say, what the heck did I do? All I, all I did was say hi. I'm telling you, you don't know why they're passing out. That's because of what's going on behind the scenes. You don't know why this person is passing out. And it has nothing to do with you. It's all about them. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Things are not going in their favor. There could be a karmic couple in here as well with a whole lot of secrets. They come out acting like this, like they're in the upright, like they're traditional and things like that. But in reality, their secrets, they're not. This is a devilish, a lot of toxic toxicity going on, lots of secrets, monashi twice, all kinds of stuff, drinking. Oh, I just heard drinking and driving. Someone has been doing that. You might want to be careful with that because it could lead to some type of ending for you. It could lead to some type of ending for you. Someone has been drinking and driving. Don't do that. Don't do that. Do not do that. You need to find some type of value within yourself where you don't feel like you can go out and drink all day, all night, whatever it is. Go from bar to bar to bar to bar and then get behind the wheels and go home safely. You may be able to get away with that for a certain amount of time. But when your ancestors decide to back off, those angels decide to back off because they've told you numerous times, don't do that, and you keep doing it, you're going to F around and find out the hard way that you should have listened to them when they told you, don't do that. I'm telling you, things are not going in the favor of a king of pentacles. This man did something to interfere with some type of connection, and it's not going in his favor. Someone had ulterior motive. This is someone that's very greedy. Very greedy. He interfered with a union. He was supposed to tell the truth about someone. A, a, either a, the masculine character or the feminine character. He lied. When he lied, he interfered with balance being brought into a situation. He caused a lot of conflict. So now he's going through some type of bad karma. He's going through some type of ending and this person could be trying to hide it behind the scenes, trying to still show up in a blissful energy, happy energy, down to earth energy, but someone is going through something and they're not able to talk to people about it because they have a facade to keep up. But things are not going in this man's favor. Whatever someone was planning for you, they were told a long time ago to not even participate in it. This is like a higher level uh, soulmate, whatever we want to call it, falling from grace because of greed. Because of greed. Like someone literally intentionally fell from grace. And I say intentionally because they knew what they were doing was wrong. Like someone knew what they were doing was wrong. I don't know. Okay, honey. We're gonna do this. Yeah, something he did was wrong. He may have lied to a King of Cups, interfered with a King of Cups moving forward, blocked a King of Cups from moving forward. Maybe a King of Cups asked him to watch you or something. Yeah, he's going through a tower. And this is divine intervention. He's going through a tower. This man lied to a King of Cups. I don't know if maybe someone told him, hey, can you watch her and let me know what's the truth? Is she doing this? Is she doing that? Someone asked a masculine to watch one, some of you, not one of you, but some of you, and he lied. He may have told this person you were reckless, you were sleeping around, possibly even told this man that he slept with you. All of it was a lie. And he did all of that just so you would not have some type of brand new passionate beginning with that King of Cups. He lied. He lied, I'm telling you. And he's going through an ending and this is balance being brought into this situation and that wheel is gonna keep moving forward. Someone lied. Someone lied, they, they martyred themselves. Someone sacrificed themselves not realizing they were doing it. This is like someone doing something behind the scenes and they don't think they're gonna get caught. I'm telling you, people underestimate the power of the universe. You all have to understand, when we incarnate, we are here on a soul contract. So everything we're going through is part of the soul contract. It's not accidental. So you have to understand, whatever actions you're taking, balance is going to be brought into that. Nothing is accidental in the universe. 
There are no coincidences. Everything is accounted for. Everything is accounted for. I don't know why some people don't learn this throughout their lifetimes, their journeys as they get older. But everything you do, I don't care what religion you follow, just about every religion there is, has something, uh, preaches something about accountability. Right? So spirituality, Christianity, B uh, Buddhism, Islam, Baha'i, Jainism, any of those. Okay? Accountability plays a role in it, being accountable for how you treat people, how you treat other lives. So everything you do is being accounted for. And if you lie, if you try to end someone, you best believe that's being accounted for. So this King of Pentacles, he thought he was in the clear with what he was doing behind the scenes, only for him to find out it was not so. So you, High Priestess, you may have a contract with this King of Cups, and you two may end up getting together to building, build, building your empire regardless. This King of Pentacles may have had some type of interest in you, some type of commitment, but it's not a genuine one because this man is extremely toxic. This is someone that's like an illusionist. He causes conflict. He interferes with some type of union, new beginning, collaboration, abundance, something he may have tried to even steal from someone. And every time, every time he took the initiative to do something, he was being watched. He didn't realize that he was being watched. You see the angels up here looking down at everybody, sir? You were being watched the whole time. You were being watched the whole time. He thought he got away with something. You did not. You did not. This man is going through a bigger ending than he even thought he would be going through. He didn't expect it to be this bad is what I'm hearing. He didn't expect it to be this bad. And after everything he did, he's still going to be sitting and watching two people come together. And this is going to be one of those things where, when you, I'm telling you, he's going to be watching. <laughs> Listen, it was right on time. He's going to be watching these two people get together. This is one of those situations where you're, someone has done everything to block you two from coming together. And then one day you two go to like the grocery stores and lo and behold, who's walking out of the grocery stores and you two are walking into the grocery stores. It's Mr. Blocker, the one that's been trying to block the two of you from coming together successfully. And you two look at him. He's acting like he don't see you or he's embarrassed and things like that. That's divine intervention. It's the universe letting you know, I'm in charge, heifer. I'm in charge in this mother effort, okay? I'm the hair honcho. I don't know what you thought was going on here. Someone is about to have this experience. Someone is about to have this experience. They are going to see a king of cups and a high priestess get together and they're going to be so embarrassed. Is that you are trying to keep me away from my soul partner? Right? It's going to be embarrassing. And someone has foresight of this. He's going to watch you all. Like he knows this union is coming together. This union is coming together. You two are stepping out on faith. He knows it. You two are putting into toxic cycles. Telling you, you two are taking action and moving on. <laughs> Someone has foresight of what's about to happen. <laughs> they know what's about to happen. Yeah, they know there's a meeting that's going to take place. There's a meeting that's going to take place. These people have been trying to trap this man, keep him trapped with, with them, their toxic city. He don't want to be a part of it. Someone wants to move on with, I'm telling you, someone wants to move on with their life. And people are trying to keep them blocked, trapped, stuck, bounded. You don't want to be with these people anymore. And you have to think about it. Why would a whole group of people be trying to block one person? It's not because they care about him, right? It's not because they care about him. They're trying to trap him in something they know is unholy because they benefit from this person being around. 
This could even be like a light worker. He's showing up in an angelic energy. That means that he is a light worker, a light being. Maybe he's not fully aware of himself. He's moving on. I'm telling you all, oh, this man is moving on. There's nothing you can do to block this person from moving on. It's already divinely orchestrated by the Most High that this person is moving on, right? He's not fully, he was not fully aware of himself. This person did indulge in a lot of toxicity. That's because of the types of people he had around him. But he has had some type of awakening and he's moving on. He may be leaving the Queen of Pentacles. Like, you're, you're a bullfish lie. You ain't you. You are not healed. You're still sick. You're still toxic. You are not healed. You don't want to do the work to heal. You've been pretending to be a-okay. You've been pretending to be a star seed. You're not a star seed. And he knows this about every single one of them. He may even know about this king of pentacles taking actions to block him. What's done in the dark will always come out to the light. I'm telling you, this is a soul twin contract. What's done in the dark will always come out in the light. In the light. Everything, everyone will always be exposed. You don't get to destroy other people's lives. I'm telling you, these two people are coming together. They are coming together. You don't get to destroy people's lives or try to destroy them. And you think you can just all of a sudden drop everything, move away or distance yourself from the situation. It's, everything is in the clear. Nah, the universe wants you to go through an embarrassment too. Just like you try to embarrass these people, we want you to go through the same humiliation process. You get to see them walking around happy, holding hands. You get to see them on TV. Every time you turn on, turn your, uh, open your phone, get on YouTube, get on TikTok, whatever you're getting on, you're going to see these two people because there's a couple in here that's meant to be influential as well. That 10 of pentacles right there, influence, affluence. So the universe has to rub it in your face, just like they were rubbing their maliciousness in your faces. The universe has to rub, rub this union in their face. It's a, hey, you see my two divine beings, they're together and happy. Hey, do you see my divine beings? They're happy. They're still happy. They're always going to be happy. Hey, did you hear what my divine beings did today together? Like the universe is petty, but on a grander level than us. We all have a little bit of pettiness in us. But the universe... Is the, the, the kind of pettiness the universe is into, no one can compete with that. No one can compete with that. Like the universe is so petty, sometimes you may think, uh, source, are you sure I'm praying to the right person? I'm following the right being? And source is like, hey, 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 mind your business. This is personal. <laughs> this is personal business. I'm settling the scores right now. Like, mind your business. I'm telling you, mind your business. Source is settling the scores. Okay? Source is settling the scores. He said, huh, what would I do today? What am I going to wreck in this person's life today? Oh, look. They're married. They're getting a divorce. Oh, look. They live in a mansion. Oh, you get to move in a two-bedroom. Oh, my gosh. Source is petty. Someone has been causing a lot of illusions, a lot of mental conflict. I'm telling you. And it's all over. Something is over. O-V-E-R. Over. Listen, someone, I'm telling you, someone caused a lot of conflict and they're still determined to keep moving on. Uh-uh. 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 This is still being manifested. Uh-uh. You have people paying people behind the scenes, all kinds of stuff. You say, hey, here's some money. Make sure this person don't get together. When he asks you if she's she's uh, someone of high class, high honor, tell them, no, she's reckless. You slept with her, right? You've been to her house. You've done this. You've done that. Meanwhile, this person that's telling all this lie has never been to your house. They don't even have your number. Don't even have your number. Never communicated with you like that. If this is someone you work with, you always been professional with this person. Never went out outside of, you know, any type of work event with this person. 
Don't nothing. When I said nothing, nothing. A flat out lie. And that's because someone was paid behind the scenes to lie. Someone accepted some type of payment behind the scenes to lie. And this King of Cups believed it. You have a few masculines causing illusions here. Not just this King of Pentacles. Paying people, bribing people, intimidating people, blackmailing people. Like, hey, you're going to do what I said. I'm telling you. You're going to do what I said. Oh, I'm going to expose you. Mm -hmm. uh, a, a mother effer like me, you can expose me all you want. But guess what? I'm not participating. Do whatever you want. This is me. I'm free. I always tell people, honey, I'm a free being. I'm a free will child. I'm going to move the way I want to move. I'm not participating in your shenanigans because I work too hard, honey, to get into this energy and this energy. If I sat here and told half of you, told you, I mean, if I sat here and told you all half of the experiences I've had, you will tell me I should be like an 80 or 90 year old woman because my experiences have taught me if there's anything to never do in life is to partner up with a bunch of karmics to take <laughs> this magnitude of our energy down. That is voluntary aside. Okay? Obviously. <laughs> Let me fix that. That is voluntary execution. That's like you going and telling someone, hey, I'm gonna put my head, my neck on this block. When you're when I when I get there, when I lay there, now I need you to take that axe right there and whoosh up. That's what you're doing. <laughs> I said, I said voluntary aside. Obviously, aside is voluntary. But what I was trying to say is, it's voluntary execution. Yeah. Voluntary execution. There was even a Queen of Cups being paid, honey. And now she's trapped into something she cannot get out of. Someone may have legal issues. Like, everybody is exposed. These people are fighting with one another. They are fighting. And they don't understand how it is that they are the ones fighting. And you're chill. Someone is still coming in to assist you. Someone still wants to partner up with you. Someone still wants to see you elevate because they know you're someone pure-hearted. Meanwhile, this, I'm the star C. <clears throat> She's going through an ending. Someone trapped herself. She trapped herself. You got to be delusional when you think you can go around and pretend to be something you're not. You have to be delusional. You got to be delusional. And in that sense, you got to do time. Someone got so desperate to be someone else, they committed crimes, violated laws and things like that just to be seen in a light that's not theirs. That's dangerous. Dangerous. You got to do time, darling. Whether it's spiritual, physical, mental, emotional, whatever this is, poverty, you got to do time because you have to learn this lesson. You got to learn this lesson. Trying to bring problems to people, but the universe is still blessing them. The universe is still blessing them. <laughs> The universe is still blessing this person. You, are, I'm telling you. <laughs> it's all divinely orchestrated. Something is about to go down and it's divinely orchestrated to go the way it's about to go down. And we're not going to say that because we need everyone to be surprised in here. But it's all divinely orchestrated. Absolutely. And someone is like, someone is burdened. When I say burden, burden about you receiving this offer. This is a pentacles offer. Oh my gosh. Someone does not know what to do with themselves. Don't know what to do with themselves. Maybe even wanting to pick a fight with you and everything. And meanwhile, you're just ignoring this person. Like going on by your la vita, la vita loca. Like, okay, who are you? Um, Do I know you? Should I know you? Why are you picking, trying to pick a fight with me? I've never done anything to you. Oh, but you know what? That's what always happens when the fake meets the authentic. That's how that goes. 
Mm-hmm. Honey. Shoot. I'm telling you. Burden. <clears throat> That's what happens when the fake meets the original. I said, oh shoot, you're here. I can't pretend to be you anymore. You're here. What do I do? I can't be myself. Ugh, yuck. She makes me uncomfortable. And you're like, um, are you talking about yourself? And you're just looking at them being a clown? I'm telling you, they're burdened. Looking at them being a clown. Someone took some type of action and it didn't go in their favor or this is what they're about to do. Was it, why did I pretend to be this star? See, I don't know what I'm talking about. I never knew what I was talking about. Why did I take it this far? Someone took something too far. They had options to make and they went for the wrong thing and now they're worried. I'm, oh, honey, you're gonna, yeah, you have good reasons to be worried. You have good reasons to be worried. These people are still connecting. You have good reason to be worried. I, I keep hearing someone has been paying people to block a union from coming together. Someone has been paying to make sure someone does not receive assistance. How? How, how, how? I'm going to give you money to make sure this person doesn't receive help. I'm going to give you money to make sure this person doesn't receive help. You two, you three, you four, you five, everybody. You get a bribe, you get a bribe, you get a bribe, you uh get a bribe. Are you serious? Only for the person to still receive the help. And now your bank account is empty. You've lost money. You're still unhinged. This person is still receiving their offer. Someone is going to give you something little and it's going to get you out of some type of hard situation you're in and you're going to nurture that and turn it into something beautiful and whoever's been behind the scenes pretending to be you they're going through some type of ending uh and it's not reversible something is prominent now it's prominent i'm telling you mm. Mm -hmm. i'm telling you honey i'm gonna stop there i'm gonna stop there these people were trying to end you this is what they want for you, but this is you moving on with your life. And whoever has been uh, 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 trying to block you, they're about to understand what it means to actually earn your living. Earn it. They're about to find out what it means to actually work for what you have. And then there are going to be people behind the scenes trying to cause them a tower and they will understand what they put you through. This is how the universe works. What you intend for someone else will always come back to you. So while these people were causing you endings and things like that, you were moving forward, still staying focused. You didn't know if you were going to make it at the finish line, but you kept going. This is you. Every time something was getting better for you, they stepped in, put you back in this energy or tried to put you back in this energy. And you kept moving forward. It's like, I know these people are trying to destroy me. I know these people are trying to end me, but I'm going to trust the most high to see me through. And your ancestors kept telling you, just keep moving forward. I'm pretty sure most nights, most days, you all didn't really feel like moving forward. You're like, I'm over this mess. I don't want to be a, 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 a star scene anymore. It's too much work. But you kept moving forward because it was all for your own good, your purpose, your ascension, your education. We are in a classroom on this planet right it was all for your educational use ascension elevation healing improvement right and you kept going and this is you you've achieved or you're about to achieve that clarence clarence you have that divine clarence no one can interfere with as soon as they come in ba -ba -bang, bang, bang, i told you to leave my star see you alone Bang, 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 bang. Someone is about to understand what it is they put you through. They say you're going to have to work a nine to five. Going to have to figure out how these kids are going to be washed. Who's going to be babysitting them? Oh, and by the way, you're going through a divorce. Your husband's getting locked up. Your husband's unemployed. Something like that. And you're going to have to work a full-time job to take care of these babies. 
You know how you were trying to end that star seed and his family, her family, trying to separate them from their kids? Oh, honey, we pity you. You're going to have to learn that too. Someone is about to be burdened while you are sailing off into the sunset. Talking about, I certainly set up. Living a Vita Loca. Living a Vita Loca. Living a Vita Loca. Some of you will be amazed if you were to see the number of people that have been going up against you. Some of you think you've been battling one person. It's not one person. It's a whole institution, honey. It's a whole institution that has been going against you. It's not one person. And by the grace of the most high, you defeated your enemies. But it's not one institution. It's not one person. Oh, it's not one institution. Y'all, you all heard that come out? Oh, the source is out here spilling the tea. It's not one institution. It's multiple institutions, several institutions. Coming after one person, trying to block a union from coming together, and it's still coming together. Oh, oh. Source, I said, you are the king, the queen, the master of pettiness, the master of illusion. Source, what is your advice to us? What would you like us to be aware of today? Thank you. And I'm going to do one more. What would you like us to be aware of? Listen, seven threes, right? Three sevens, I mean, 21 threes celebration. Okay. Another seven. Luck. Oh. Collective, whatever you're getting, don't forget about the rest of us, okay? Anyways, it said you're it said you possess a very refined mind and a deep urge to uncover life's mysteries. Your ability to acquire vast knowledge on both the informational and spiritual planes gives you a greater awareness than most. I am brilliant. Okay now. Okay, 777. Seven, seven. Your purpose flows from within you, and everything that is unfolding or being revealed to you is part of your purpose. A state of peace and calmness in your soul. I am in the flow. Okay, now. Well, thank you for watching, folks. I will see you in the next video. Stay blessed, and goodbye for now.